I know you're going to enjoy our guest today because he is one of the greatest guitar stylists of our time and a very, very good friend of mine and everyone in country music. And let's all get together and give him a great big welcome, Merle Travis. Yeah! <laughs> Some people go to school trying to learn how to teach. Some people go to school trying to learn how to preach. But if you can't preach without going to school, you ain't a preacher, you're an educated fool, and that's all. And that's all. You better change your way of living for the good Lord say, that's all. Now, a feller I know, he's a miser man. He keeps on trying to save all the money he can. But when that old undertaker lets that man down, where's he gonna spend his money under the ground? And that's all. And that's all. You better change your way of living for the good Lord's sake. That's all. Now, men come from monkeys, that's what some people say, but uh, the good book, it don't just tell it that way. Now, if you believe that monkey tale like a lot of people do, I'd rather be the monkey brother than you, and that's all. And that's all. You better change your way of living for the good Lord's sake, that's all. Well, my little song is finished, my little song is through, and I didn't necessarily mean to sing a song for you. But if you don't like the way this little song goes, that's a pretty good sign. I've been a-tromping on your toes, and that's all. And that's all. You better change your way of living, for the good Lord's sake. That's all. And that's all. That, that ain't nothing but fine. <laughs> Thank you. That is as fine as you can get, Merle. Thank you a lot, man. Hey, it's well, good to be back with you again, Porter. Well, thank you. And this time you brought the pretty suit. The last time you was here, you were apologizing for you left your suit. Yeah, somewhere. I didn't have my monkey suit on. I felt uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to the show. Thank you for watching that message. You know, uh, when I have some time off, I like to go visit other entertainers if they're entertaining anywhere around close where I can. And I seen a concert the other night that I won't forget for many years. I enjoyed it very, very much, Merle. We're delighted to have him as our guest tonight. The fellow I'm talking about is Merle Travis. Let's welcome him back again.
that's great. Come on over. I want to uh, do something with you. That's fine, man. Oh, thank you, Porter. That's a tune I'll never get tired of hearing. Old Wildwood Flower. And... That's hard to beat, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, listen, if you would, you know, you and I have never done a number together, I don't never think. Never have. No? I think it's past time we ought to do one. I'm for it. This is one of uh, your numbers. If you would, I'd like to sing a little and get you to do some good picking on it, would you? All right. About the nine-pound hammer. Good, good. We didn't rehearse it, but it'll probably be better if we didn't. Okay. Well, the nine-pound hammer, just a little too heavy for my side, honey, for my side. So roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. Well, how can I roll when my wheels don't go? Well, I'm going on the mountain, gonna see my baby. And I ain't coming back No, I ain't coming back Well, that's great. Thank you a lot for being with us. I enjoyed that very much. We're going to have to go, though, for this week. Thanks to Merle and many, many thanks to Tex Ritter for coming by today. And Miss Norma Jean, everyone, we'll all see you next week. Same time and on the same channel. Take care of yourself and invite us back to your house next week. So long. This has been the Puller Waggler Show in color. A half hour of good country music and fun brought to you from the home of the Grand Ole Opry. Be sure to tune in next week, same time, same station.